Wanna shake the ground Wanna break away Let loose I'm tired of waiting Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. So I got another wig from my first wig and it's their third year anniversary and when I tell you that these wigs get better and better with each one that I get, I am so serious. So it comes with this cute little card and I wish I knew where they got this from because it is so pretty. Um, and then it also comes with everything that you would need for your wig. It's like a nice little wig kit. So it comes with the wig stand, then it comes with this cute little makeup bag and it has a rat tail comb in it, it has bobby pins in it. Um, um, it also has the elastic band in it, which I didn't use this time, but I am going to save it. And then it comes with these cute little clips, which I definitely need. Um, and then also it comes with, of course, um, your wig cap. And then it comes with the cute little baggie for you to store your wig and keep it from getting all like matted and stuff. So of course I like to show you guys what the hair looks like fresh out of the packaging. And I literally, when I say I did nothing to this wig but bleach the knots, like so serious so this is what it looks like the hairline on this wig is perfect and requires absolutely no plucking um and yeah let's go ahead and just get right started So I went ahead and bleached the knots off camera. If you guys want a detailed video on that or any other videos that may be helpful, I will leave a playlist down below that has everything that a wig wearer needs. Um, and I just want to show you guys what the inside looks like. It has so much parting space in the front, you guys. Like, so, so much. And it's just like, you can really part it anywhere that you want it. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and let it air dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put it on. And we're going to begin just applying it. So of course, I like to use my clear got to be glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my entire forehead with that. And then I go ahead and go in with the free spray just for a little extra security and just to make it a little bit more tacky. So next we know that we like to dry it a little bit, um, not completely dry, just enough to where it doesn't feel like that cold wet feeling on your forehead anymore. And then once it feels like that, we can go ahead and start to apply the wig. You want to apply it in the middle first because if you try to do the sides first, it'll start to like wrinkle up a little bit and it's just not going to be cute. So you want to apply in the middle and then press it down and then go ahead and do the sides next. To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. Then I just like to go ahead and go in with anything. You can use the end of a rat tail comb. This is just a makeup brush. I'm just going to make sure that all the lace is completely flattened down into my forehead. And then I went ahead and tied it down with the silk scarf and then I did my makeup. And then now we are back to take it off. like to take my comb and I like to like scrape through the front to make sure none of the hairs are still stuck down because that tends to happen a lot when you glue it down and then after that I'm just going to take my baby bliss flat irons I got these from Sally Beauty I think they were $89 I'm not sure if I can find the link for them I'll leave it down below um but yeah I absolutely love these flat irons and they're a wand and a curler like they're just perfect but you have to be careful with your forehead because I burned my forehead twice um so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron the hair and then I like to take my pressing comb and go over the roots at the top just because I feel like it helps to lay it a little bit flatter and I like my wigs to be flat honey
Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and take a few pieces around like the sideburn area and then a little few pieces in the forehead area and cut them a little bit short. I'm not going for like the full on baby hair look because the hair is straight. Um, but I do want some shorter hairs around the hairline just because I just feel like it helps it look a little bit more natural. I'm gonna get this party lit. Come, come, come with me. Let's do something we'll regret. Come, come, come with me. I'm gonna get this party lit. Come, come, come with me. Let's do something we'll regret. Cause I've been feeling, feeling that crazy, and I need to lose control. So I just like to take a wet toothbrush and lay all the little hairs that I cut down and then we're going to go ahead and start working on this scalp. So I like to take my foundation powder and I like to take an angled brush and I like to wet the angled brush and dip it in the powder because it makes like a paste and it makes it fill in the holes inside of the lace and then we're going to go ahead and you see this part. So that's my wig cap slid back and then I'm going to fill this in and it's going to look perfect. And then I'm going to go around the hairline as well just to make it look a little bit more like scalp and to make it blend into my natural skin color a little better. If you guys want a close-up video on this of how I show you guys the difference between using powder, using bleach, and doing nothing at all, I'll insert a video down below for you guys that's super helpful and super zoomed in. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're alerted every time I post a video. So once we have our scalp blended in, that is literally it guys. I'll have all the details for everything I use and all the details for the wig down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Got a restless mind.